I can um, call the meeting to order. Can I, uh, can I welcome everybody to this special meeting? Um, before uh, before we get into the, the, the business, can I just um, ask you to uh, notice Chris, Councillor Chris Needham's apologies, um, please? Um, if that could be recorded, I'd be grateful. Um, Clearly, we've just got a one item agenda, but before um, before we get into uh, to that around the Pacific Road Art Centre, um, item one is members' code of conduct, and uh, this is where I have to ask for declarations of interest. If I would, could just give notice, I personally will be declaring a non-pecuniary interest by virtue of the fact that I am a director of the Chamber of Commerce. I haven't got any financial um, interest, but I am a director, and my advice from um, Brussels is to is I need to declare a non pecuniary interest, and I need to vacate the chair and leave the room, so I will do that and hand over to um, Councillor McGrathen as, as, as deputy leader. So if I could uh, register that interest. I think there's at least one other member that needs to register an interest. Adrian? Okay, any interests? No? Okay, so at this point, I'm going to hand over to Anne. I need you in her capable hands. Thank you.
terms of the tramway, previous proposals talked about an outside route turning over the tramway. Again, in discussions with the field audience, they will very much in the longer term wish to see the tramway fall part of a longer tramway running down through the docks uh, in line with using the existing redundant railway line that runs along the side of the docks. Um, it's felt that for, for technical reasons and legal reasons and also reasons of possible future use in that direction, that the council should retain ownership of the tramway. Um, that doesn't stop it being used for testing by other groups. Trams have been tested for the tramway in the past. There's one group that's particularly interested in trying to test it on a new type of new encounter. Again, we said that we would facilitate that. Thirdly, the tramway museum, there were three full time employees there. They have taken severance and clearly they form part of the savings package that the council is making. That, that has spurred the groups on to get together and say that they would um, they take over the buildings and ask for transfer. Similar but not quite the same. So those are the three key elements that are different to the previous proposals where in some instances it was one group wanting to take over all three assets and, and um, clearly that the, the, the situation has moved on to, to the circumstances that I described. So this plan is that the transport museum is an asset transfer, um, that we can do some basic work to shed traffic or to reach the standard. That also protects the council's interests in terms of the buses that are the tramway remains in the ownership of the council and the Pacific Road building becomes uh, a conversion of 25 years for business units. That secures also the standard of maintenance on the Pacific Road building and the lease that will be agreed subject to your approval, other, other, other lease to, to, to perform business units, will still allow us to store trams on the track inside the heart of the Pacific Road building without the tramway. That the maintenance, the heavy maintenance of taking them apart and rebuilding them can still be done at the other end of the tramway in Taylor Street in the shed, but actually for storage purposes, we can still keep them in that end of the shed as the business units can go outside of it. It also means that the lease will allow us access to the substation and the power, which powers the railway wires to the tramway. So, although there's some frustration with some groups who feel that their, their schemes Yeah, 
Just one comment here, something David alluded to. I mean, as a regular concert goer myself, I've attended many concerts at the original Pacific Road, and I was very much aware that there was a lot of concern by people who felt that the Pacific Road was not used for concert venues, there wouldn't be anywhere else in the world to stage them. And I can back up what David alluded to. <coughs> the Forum Pavilion, I think, has taken over that mantle now. I think it's called the Blue Moon, where they have similar concerts there, and I've attended them. And I think that is going down very well, so that's been very successful. So I'd like to think that a lot of the concerns that some people had originally about the closure of Pacific Road for concerts has now been addressed with the use of the uh, floor of the building. So thank you for that. And the, the lighting and creating of frame and all the equipment part of the building is what was used together. Okay, any other views or comments? Okay,